It's a loophole in Wisconsin law big enough to drive through. Drivers are required to have auto insurance, but they don't need to prove it until it's too late. The I team Steve Shamraz is here with what that means for the victims of drivers who break the law. Steve. Yeah, guys, what this means is victims get stuck with the bills. They're also asking if Wisconsin's law is doing them any good in the first place. In Wisconsin, there are more than 4 million licensed drivers, every one of them required by state law to have auto insurance. It was about $1,500 plus my son injured his arm. But Tien Miller knows better than most, many of them are breaking the law. Hit my car, damaged it where I couldn't even open the door. Miller was hit by an uninsured driver not once, but three different times. Each time he was stuck with the damage and the bill. Uh, unfortunately, it ended up totaling my car. The I team discovered this happens more than you might expect. In 2014, 14,510 uninsured Wisconsin drivers were involved in crashes. Almost 9,000 of those ended with property damage somebody had to pay for. 5,400 had injuries, and another 44 crashes ended with somebody dead. This has got to stop somewhere, and I'm very disappointed that they should have insurance. From his perspective, Miller says Wisconsin's law requiring auto insurance has a major flaw. No one makes sure you're following the law until it's too late. Now that the law's been on the books for a while, we're, we're finding out that people are just scamming the system. As State Representative Joe Sanfilippo explains, Wisconsin drivers only need to show proof of insurance after a police stop or after a crash, unlike our neighbors in Illinois where the state randomly requires drivers to mail in their proof of insurance or face suspension. That is a process San Filippo calls wrong for Wisconsin. That translates into extra uh, work that the DMV has to do, and that's going to translate into higher fees. So you're still penalizing people who are doing everything they should. But it does make a difference. In 2014, only 7% of Illinois crashes involved someone uninsured. In Wisconsin, that percentage was 12, though even that number is an improvement, down from the 17 percent before Wisconsin made insurance mandatory. There's plenty of room to go farther. Uh, I think that what we need in order to, to make that number go down farther is to put more teeth into the current law. The teeth San Filippo favors, like increased fines, would still come after the fact. Still too late for Tian Miller. His last crash left him taking the bus or walking wherever he needs to go. I'm trying to do the best I can, and to have me doing the right thing and have that happen to me is just unacceptable. In 2015, San Filippo did get a bill passed increasing fines for drivers without insurance, but again, they only get those fines after they're stopped by police or they crash into you. Guys? Pretty incredible. Steve, thank you very much.